Okay, so let's start with positions here. We've got number one, your point guard. Point guard is the person who dribbles up the basketball, starts the play. That's number one, traditionally somebody who's really good at dribbling. Number two, also called a wing or a little or a guard. They are the first assistant in the dribbling to number one. Number three is almost exactly like number two, but number three inbounds the basketball, meaning that if the ball goes out of bounds, number three is always the person who passes it back in to the court. Okay. Four is also called the post or a big, usually someone who either is tall or plays like they're tall or is really good at getting rebounds. Uh, number five can also be called a center. It's usually your biggest person on the court or the person who plays like they're the biggest on the court. Okay. So the first thing that'll happen in the game is a tip off. Okay. Uh, in the tip off, the maples are going to be blue for the record. Maples are blue. Everybody else is not blue. Uh, here's how we would line up. And I can remind you of this when game time comes. But moral of the story is the Maples are going this direction. We want to score in this hoop over here. Okay. We would put our five in the center for the tip off. Just behind number five is going to be number one. There will probably be a girl from the other team just next to number one. Okay. Number two will be over there by the other teams, usually their number one. We put a four back here. Four is the first line of defense, meaning if we don't get the ball, number four, you are the first person to try and stop the other team from getting in position. Number three, you can kind of go on either side, okay? If we get the ball, we want to run this way as fast as possible and go set up or score the basketball. If we do not get the ball, we are going to go this way towards the other hoop as fast as possible to stop them from scoring, okay? That's the general form of tip-off. Piece of terminology for you is a jump ball. If you and the other girl are going for the ball at the same time, and you both have possession of the ball, rather than letting you like fight each other for it forever, they will just call a jump ball. They'll blow the whistle, and then it takes turns which team will get to take the ball next, okay? So if we got the last jump ball, then the other team would get it the next time, and it just kind of flips back and forth like that. Okay, let's talk free throws. Sorry for the bell. This is a free throw when the other team is shooting. You can tell because the maples are blue, okay? If the other team is shooting, we want to put our two biggest girls or best rebounders, our five and our four, here just above the block. You have to stay in between the hash mark and the block. You cannot leave that space, okay? Then in between the next hash mark and the other one, the second and the third, you will have another team player, okay? So not a maple. And then by the first hash mark, first to second, you'll have a maple, okay? So it's gotta go blue, black, blue. And then on the other side, blue, black, blue, okay? Our three and our two will be up here. And then our one has to be outside of the three-point line, okay? Now, you may not move from your spot until the shooter has shot the ball. When she shoots the ball, five and four, you want to move your body to position yourself in front of the other X's here, okay? Get in front of the other girls. Two and three, you have to decide before the ball is shot, one of you is going to step in front of the shooter and the other one of you is going to go into the middle, okay? So before the shot, 
two and three, look at each other. One of you will say, I got the shooter. You'll step in front of the shooter when she shoots the ball. Three will go into the middle, five blocks here, four blocks here. Number one, you're diving in. You're diving right into the middle to try and get the ball. These girls will probably do the same for their team, okay? So everybody tries to get the ball, and one of these two top girls gets in front of the shooter because we don't want it to come back, get right back to the girl who shot it, and let her shoot it again. Okay, let's look at when the Maples shoot a free throw. First, I didn't say this with the last free throw. When you shoot free throws, you shoot two free throws at a time. Okay, the first one, you just watch it. The second free throws, the second free throw of the two is when you try to get the rebound. Okay, so let's look at when the Maples are shooting a free throw. Again, the Maples are blue. Okay, on the first free throw, we're going to line up and just watch her shoot. Okay, here's how you line up. The shooter will go in front of the free throw line. You cannot cross the free throw line with your toes or any part of your body until after it has been shot, okay? So don't let your toe hit the line or else it will not count, shooter, okay? We want our two biggest girls, other than the shooter, to go in the middle, okay? And then it has to go black, blue, black, okay? We had extra girls in when they were shooting. Now they have extra girls when we are shooting, okay? So black, blue, black, black, blue, black, okay? This girl, your goal is to get around the girls that are going to try and block you. You want to get in there and get the basketball. Same for this girl. Get in there and get the basketball. Get around these girls who are trying to block you. Shooter, shoot the ball. If you don't make it, try and get your rebound. This little, you have to wait until the ball is shot and then try and go get it. This little, you are not going to try and get the rebound. You are our first line of defense. If a girl on the other team gets the ball, you are sprinting back to be the first girl to stop the basketball. If the other team gets the basketball, all of these girls will also sprint back. But this girl, because she was already so much further back, will be the first one to try and stop the other team from scoring. Let's talk about one very important middle school specific rule. Okay, let's imagine that this is the Maples hoop. We want to score at this one. This is the non-Maples hoop. They want to score at that one. In the first half of all middle school basketball games, you can only play defense after half court. Okay, let's say the Maples made a basket. And now the black team is going to get the ball and they're going to bring it up to their side of the court. Okay. Us Maples cannot play defense until they get to the half court line. Okay. You may not play defense up in here. So if the other team gets the ball or if we make a shot, just run back and get in defensive position as fast as you can because you can't even play defense until this half court line, okay? So just run back and get in position. In the second half of the game, after halftime, you can play defense on the whole court, but not during the first half. Last thing for this video, uh, in this case, the red dot is the basketball. It's close as I had to orange, okay? If the Maples have the ball and we are on our half of the court, meaning we want to score at this hoop, okay? If we have the ball and we are over the half court line, you can no longer pass the ball to a girl behind the half court line, okay? So uh, one of us is here, 
we get in a panic mode. There's a girl guarding us. You cannot throw it back to this girl. You have to stay on this side of half court. Okay. So don't throw it back after you've already gone over the line. It's called over and back. You can't do that. Okay. That's the last one for this video.